Good evening. Here's the news at nine. First, the highlights. Lagos State Health Management Agency increases providers' tariff for better service delivery to Ileraiko and Rulis. Oyo State Government begins e-payment of retirees' gratuities. On the foreign scene, Israeli soldiers besiege Jenin West Bank as assault reaches first day. And in sport, defending champion Novak Djokovic crashes out of UN US Open. Now the details. I am John Omwaka. <laughs> The Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA, in its commitment to ensure better service delivery to Ileraiko and Rulis and foster a good working relationship with the providers under the Lagos State Health Scheme, LSHS, has increased the tariff paid to the providers. The board chairman, Adebayo Adedewe, will state this during the providers' engagement forum with both the private and public facilities under Ileraiko said LASHMA would commence the payment of the new tariff with effect from 1st September. Adedewa said the review of the tariff became imperative considering the current economic situation in the country and the increase in the prices of healthcare service in the in the prices of healthcare services, including drugs. He noted that the new tariff will no doubt boost the revenue of the providers. The board chairman revealed that LASHMA has 857 healthcare providers under the scheme, comprising of primary care providers, specialty providers, including eye and dental clinics, private healthcare providers, general hospitals, and community pharmacies. Lagos State Government, through its agency, Lagos State Urban Renewal Agency, LASURA, has organized an enlightenment campaign on the submission of development lease agreements between LASURA, lessees, developers, agents, and general public, particularly allottees, for the verification and completeness of records of properties managed by the agency. The Enlightenment Campaign, the Enlightenment Program, organized in conjunction with the Ministry of Information and Strategy, was held in different parts of Lagos Island, including Ereko, Enyeyo, Namdi Azikiwe, Alibalogun, Martins, Idumagu Avenue, and Balogun Streets. The Director of Estate Development, Odu Soya Oluwafemi, who represented the general manager, Oladimeji Anima Shaun, advise the property owners and allottees to drop the agreement documents at the Office of the Permanent Secretary, Urban Development, Ministry of Fiscal Planning and Urban Development, Block 15, Alausa Secretariat, Ikeja. They are to also submit copies at the Office of the General Manager, Lagos State Urban Renewal Agency, PWD, Old Secretariat of Oba Kinjobi Way, Ikeja. SS Services Department, first floor, room two, latest by Wednesday, 11th September 2024. A warned that failure to comply with the content of the notice may warrant revocation of the lease agreement by the agency. Ogun State Government has revoked the provisional licenses granted to 20 private orphanage owners operating in the state due to non compliance with regulations and laws prioritizing the well-being and safety of vulnerable children in their care. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Adijat Adeleye, said this during a meeting with, with members of private orphanage homes at the ministry's conference room, Okemosa Abelkuta. Adeleye expressed his pleasure over some private orphanage owners' activities, stating that the state would not tolerate shady practices involving illegal adoption, child trafficking or by treatment of children in their custody. She emphasized that orphanages should operate with empathy by empowering and caring for vulnerable children and not doing anything to compromise their safety. <laughs> and now to the rest of the stories. 
Oyo State Government says it has commenced the payment of gratuity benefits to retirees through electronic payment. This was contained in a statement issued by the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Dotun Oyelade. He said the State Commissioner for Establishment and Training, Olushegun Olaiwola, made this public during a three-day symbolic data capturing and e-payment exercise for retirees at the Nigerian Union of Pensioners Building, Agbarigo, Onireke, Ibadan, or your state. All I will explain to the retirees that the e-payment will ensure a seamless and secure payment process, which is said will be free from any potential disruptions. He stated that the initiative involved capturing and validating retirees' data from June 2014 to December 2014 and June 2019 to December 2019, adding that the arrangement to promptly capture their other retirees had also been made. The Nigerian Education Loan Fund, NEL Fund, has revealed data, data showing students' loan applicants by state of origin. Students from Kano and Burnu State emerge as the forerunners in the NEL Fund student loan applications. Kano State recorded 17,122 applications out of 20,814 registered tertiary students. Bernie State followed closely with 13,798 students applying for the loan out of 16,353 registered students. Bernie State ranked third with 11,754 of its 16,127 registered students applying for the loan for the student loan. These figures were shared on Nelfon's X account highlighting the distribution of registered students and subsequent loan applicants by state of origin. And now to foreign news. Israel's military is conducting raids in Jenin in the occupied West Bank, blocking access to aid for Palestinians in the besieged refugee camp on the fourth day of its assaults. Dozens of Israeli soldiers were stationed on the Jenin refugee camp with Israeli military jeeps and armored personnel carriers moving into the area. Israeli forces blew up homes in the Jariyat neighborhood of the camp as they extend their largest assaults on Palestinian territory in more than 20 years. Meanwhile, paramedics have tried to contact people in the camps with telecommunications being blocked. Now sports. Defending champion Nova Djokovic has suffered a major upset at the, two, at the U.S. Open, losing to Alexei Pomprin, who ended the Serbian's bid for a record-breaking 25th Grand Slam title. Pomprin defeated Djokovic 6-4, 6-4, 2-6, 6-4 in the third round at Flushing Meadows. Djokovic was on Karistarik on characteristically sloppy with 14 double faults, which is a record for him in a Grand Slam match, while his 25-year-old opponents marked 50 winners. The Lagos State Government has sent its condolences to the family of the Akwaibom State Commissioner Police, Waheed Ayilara, who passed on at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lassus, on Thursday, August 29. Mr. Hilara, who was in Lagos to undergo a medical procedure, passed away following surgery. Governor Babajide Sonwolu, in a statement signed by the Commissioner for Health, Aki Abayomi, said the demise of the CP has caused a deep shock and profound sadness. Governor Sonwolu, on behalf of the government and the good people of Lagos State, extends his heartfelt condolences to Ailara's family, loved ones, the police, as well as the government and people of Akwaibom State during this difficult time. And as our news at nine, but just before we go, adequate, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. 
Did you know that the Sawulu administration provided 450,000 pupils with e-learning devices? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA, in its commitment to ensure better service delivery to Ilera Eco and release and foster a good working relationship with the providers under the Lagos State Health Scheme, LSHS, has increased the tariff paid to the providers. Oyo State Government has commenced the payment of gratuity benefits to retirees through electronic payment. We also told you that Israel's military is conducting raids in Jenin in the occupied West Bank, blocking access to aid for Palestinians in the besieged refugee camp on the fourth day of its assaults. And in sport, defending champion Novak Djokovic has suffered a major upset at the U.S. Open, losing to Alexei Poprian, who added the Serbian's bid to, for a record-breaking 25th Grand Slam title. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adirayo Idu Olaya. I am John Omwaka. Thank you very much for listening.